And you know what, Monica? Technical difficulties aren't enough to keep us from bringing you the news. Oh, no. Well, I know I've been excited for this, and I bet you have been, too. Here is Grace Sweeney's story about the biobus that takes you to the farms. Was the 15th annual Piedmont Farm Tour, but the first time Elon organized a biobus tour of the farms. First stop, Turtle Run Farm, where Kevin Meehan gives tours with the Mulchmobile. At Milliki Farm, Daniel Tolfrey lets visitors get their pick of some of his crops. Tolfrey uses a different farming method, alternating crop bedding with paths. He says this reduces the use of fertilizer. Last year, and for three years, they are now being turned into paths. And he always focuses on the quality of his crops, even if it's more expensive. People say, well, it's cheap, and it's like, I don't care if it's cheap. I mean, that's ridiculous. The last farm of the day was Cane Creek Farm, where visitors got their tour on a hay bale ride. Farmers showed off their day-old piglets. They are not cuddly, you know, they look cuddly. Newborn kids. <coughs> and, of course, some chicks. Elon professor Tony Kreider organized the biobus tour. I don't, I don't think that most people realize how the food that they eat was produced. All of the farms on the biobus tour were completely organic, using no herbicides or pesticides. Kreider believes that it is important to know about the treatment of livestock. If you're the sort of person that, that, that eats, eats of meat, that, that comes from an animal. And so at very least, you'd want those animals treated in a humane condition. Grace Sweeney, Phoenix 14 News, tonight.